Play YouTube. Uh, as I said from a previous video, I just thought to show a performance test. Um, this is a pretty good program. It's uh, relatively unknown to a lot of people. Um, I, I would seriously say it's been a really good program to use. It, it generally puts your computer everything to its uh, its best use. So graphics, CPU, the memory, the DVD drive, or hard drive reading. It's everything. Uh, it's a very good program. Um, so it's quite enjoyable just to see and watch if you really are bored. Uh, it's very interesting just to look and see what sort of baselines you can get. I'll just run the test. Uh, we can run all test. Just there you go. You can see, you can pick all the individual sets. Uh, but I'll just run the whole test. Uh, you see, I would like to sort of see a lot more people using this program. Uh, I only use version six. It is the new versions, but you have to sort of pay for them and I can't be bothered. This is a good enough program. And it supports all the things I want it to do. Uh, it's, yeah, so I think it's just more so you have to watch and just see what sort of results. Uh, it's not as graphic pairing as say 3D06 is, I think it's a bit of an overrated uh, program because it's testing your graphics and CPU power, which I don't necessarily agree with. Uh, it's got like all the 2D testing. Uh, one of the, the little things you can do with this uh, is if you set your, if you go into your computer programs and go into your system settings, you can set the uh, PC to run on high as possible. So it's going quite fast. So you've got sort of like near 4,000 frames a second there. And got that as well. But you can set the PC so it runs the graphic, all the other computer graphics on as low as possible. Uh, you get quite reasonably higher marks out of that. But uh, I always find that my uh, DVD drive always fails to lose quite a lot of points on this. Um, it used to do reasonably well, I think it's just wore out a bit now. Just get out of it. So it's going for all the memory tests. <coughs> onto the hard drive testing. So I think all these people with RAID and sort of a solid state drives or sort of velociraptor drives are gonna really sort of see the see the uh, good results out of this. Um, unfortunately because I just use normal hard drives uh, I wouldn't see any reasonable power difference. But, uh, this program does um, test all your, if you've got a multi-core process, it does test all the cores. You can set it. So obviously for the new new i7 cores, you'd be like you'd be setting it to eight, which is how this, how this program would work. And the later on i7 cores, where there are sort of 16 threads, eight cores, that would be quite interesting. Well, that'll be my next update probably, but it'll still be a bit off then. So on to the CD test now. But, so as I said in the previous video, I'm still waiting for my SS Silent Light 2. Should be coming to uh, Monday. So I'll be taking the system apart tomorrow and getting it ready, cleaning the CPU up. I'll be doing a video on that. So not too bad of a result. I think I've gone a quite reasonably high better. 1416.7. Just remember that number. That just goes to that baseline six baseline. And add that. So in the red is my uh, best results that I got. And this is from my Kitty 600. I ran a, ran this test on three gigahertz. So it was quite an interesting result. I'll just zoom in for these. So as I said, all the ones in the red were at 3 gigahertz, and this is at 2.6. So 
near enough everything was affected by this uh, increase in power so the 2D graphics didn't really change a huge amount but the fonts and text and the GUI was quite a large incre increment you know, 3D graphics clearly doing better and the memory was that was slightly overclocked but nothing of any any interest All the memory tests down here hard drive tests so even the hard drive was reading and writing quicker but that's generally just down to the of information passed with the CPU and got sort of score 4 on my DVD drive and it's 3.9 this time but my, R drive, my uh, CD drive does sort of vary the best I've got out of it was 8 and after that it's just gone downhill so I think I'll probably be buying a Blu-ray soon but whenever that becomes I'm not sure because I need money and then you've got all the overall marks at the end that CPU mark so an extra 470 marks onto the 3 gigahertz overclock we had a quite large increment probably about 400 on the 2D graphics just under 100 marks over increase on the 3 gigahertz Dix mark so another 53 marks higher CD mark is very little under and then the overall pass mark rating so a best of 1587.7 so that's 12% increase uh, from 1416.7 so it's, it's a very helpful program to use you can sort of like pick what you want you can download bench um, baseline from the internet uh, apparently one of the best results so far that I've seen is uh, just over four and a half thousand marks. But uh, I think that'll be a bit of an insane machine. But uh, yeah, I just thought I'd show this new program, which, well, not new, but a new program for a lot of people. Uh, it'd be very nice to see some other people uh, like using these videos and seeing how they do this program. And I think if, if you can get it out, it'll be quite a reasonable program to use. Uh, it does work on Vista and it does have the enables of 32-64-bit so um, yeah I just thought I'd show you that so uh, thanks for watching my video uh, please comment, rate my videos and please feel free to subscribe to my page so uh, thank you